Hey everyone. So I um, had an interesting couple of insights over the last couple of days that, and they're of course related to the course that I'm running right now, the piano course, mindful piano course, but also my own playing and performing and sort of like it's this incredibly rich relationship right now um, between the two of them. And there are kind of two things that really came through powerfully, one of which came through yesterday and one of which came through this morning. The one that came through yesterday was this sense that I, um, on some level, you know, what I, I, I'm very much encouraging people in this course to, I, I'm, I basically build this six week intensive as a course where that, that's really not about performing. And in fact, it's, I've very, I've almost like actively taken it in the exact opposite direction. And even like the idea of performance mode is the mode that I'm trying to get us entirely out of because now granted I define performance mode as a kind of judgment and scrutiny type uh, vibe and feel. So that's something that we, you know, we want to like switch from that into being in discovery mode where instead of scrutinizing and criticizing our mistakes, we're in, we're like literally discovering them. We're treating them like discoveries and enjoying them almost. Um, but that's different than like the idea of, of sharing, you know, cause music, I mean, music is a language. Music is a, is a, is a medium of transmission. Of course, there's a level on which music is begging to be shared. It's, it's all about sharing it's vibration. You know, it's like literally transmission through, through the ether, through the world, through, through, through the air. And so what's coming up for me and what came up yesterday was this idea that getting, getting closer to a moment of sharing um, you know, what we would call a performance, but what I'm kind of actively calling uh, uh, the sharing of music rather than a performance, just to kind of clear the connotations off the, off the table as I talk about it, it. You know, what comes up as we as we get closer and closer to a performance, a sharing, is a sense of, okay, now n I've been doing all this work in discovery mode. I've been working really organically. I've been, wor I've been you know, letting myself enjoy my mistakes, treat all of my, treat all of my experiences as discoveries. Um, but now I'm about to give a performance and now I need, you know, now the closer we get, the more it's like we want to get it right. And there's, while there's, while there's a kind of like, there's a kind of danger in that if we get caught in that, there's also a massive opportunity in that, in the sense that as we, as we apply more pressure, as we feel that pressure of an impending, of, of, of an impending situation where we're going to be seen, where we're going to be witnessed in, in the practice of, you know, playing music or practicing music even, there's a way in which we are given the opportunity to notice what takes us out of discovery mode and to, and what our particular brand of, performance mode really looks and feels and smells and tastes like like we can actually really get inside that those patterns that are that are kind of there and that are the ones that are kind of our bodyguards when we feel like we're about to go into a high visibility situation and be seen um so there's a kind of whole thing that's been coming up recently for me about um stage fright and performance anxiety. And I've talked about this on the piano course where it's, it's basically a, 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 a thing that I've been noticing is we stage fright, um, I think a lot of it comes from when we get on stage, we don't, there's this whole thing that I've discovered through my theatrical training, which is oftentimes we don't know what our, you know, we'll, we'll go on stage and we'll be doing something, we'll be giving doing a piece um, especially when it's like an original piece, it's like something devised or something that's really fresh that we're creating. We'll be doing something consciously, but the audience will see something completely different. And it's almost like our conscious mind doesn't know what we're doing. It's our subconscious is like blasting a broadband transmission of something else. 
And meanwhile, we're consciously thinking we're doing this thing. Well, if, you, if when there's that gap between the subconscious and the conscious mind, that to me is where stage fright and performance anxiety can come in because on some level, we get on stage and we know we're no longer in control. We know that like now this thing that I, you know, usually if it's subconscious, it's kind of like being repressed and we're not, we're not allowing it to be seen for a reason because it's probably a painful pattern of some kind. So that gap is what kind of, in my opinion, creates performance anxiety. And as we start to like deal with these patterns and see them and make it okay that they're there and little by little we can also decide like are they serving us you know we have first we have to make them okay because if you tell them they're not okay then they're gonna they're gonna clamp down but if they're if it's fine that a pattern is there and also we can we can get a look at it we can sort of like engage with it then we can start to decide okay well it, is this is this helping me is is this right is this based on the truth is it based on you know, what is it based on? Is it based on something that I want to carry forward or not? Um, so that's that's something that's been coming up for me around what performance is about. And what I've noticed is as we get closer and closer to that experience, whether we call it a sharing or a performance, we're going to um, we're going to see more and more of our own particular brand of pattern, and it's going to show itself. And so. I'm finding that in my own work, in my own playing, uh, this is kind of the second thing, I'm finding that it's actually really good for me to bring my, to, to, to like something like I did yesterday, just record a piece and put it out there. Let people, you know, create, use my practice to create sh opportunities for sharing music because that's how I really get into the heart of what my patterns are around performance. Um, there's, a, there's plenty of time to be taken with not going into performance mode, and we need to make lots and lots of space um, to not perform. And I think ultimately we have to say to any individual who's studying, at least certainly with me in this way, I would say, you don't ever have to perform. That is not a criterion. That's not, you will get a massive value out of piano practice and out of this work if you never ever play a piece for another human being ever in your life. You will, there's no imperative that you have to do that. I think what's coming online for me is an interest in doing that because not only does music, is it begging to be shared, but also because that's how it's now, that's where it's getting interesting is like, as I, as I come into the, into the, a place where it's like, okay, this feels like it's ready to get out. You know, I've had this sense when I was playing a, a piece for a friend a couple, like a month or so ago, and I, it felt like I was, like my heart was just ready to like pour out this music. And I, and I, it was almost like I clamped down on it. Like, it was like, no, don't, don't be so open. And it, and it was this very interesting feeling. And I, and I realized, oh, there's so much, there's something in that. There's something in that for me about what it means to really express my full self, like to expand in that way and to open in that way to, be totally un, totally liberated, totally free in what I'm expressing, and for that to be powerful, for that to be a fully embodied, like not holding back, not hiding kind of experience. Um, and I was literally just playing in my living room for a friend, and but it, it revealed something really deep about my my heart wants to open into performance, in my into into you know sharing. Um, my heart wants to open into this transmission of music. What comes up for me around that and, and, and what stops me from that? You know, how can I get underneath that a little bit? So that's where I am today. Um, it's a really cool place to be. And I'm, I, it, this work with my students is just so satisfying. They're such amazing people and they're giving me so much opportunity for reflection in my own experience as an artist. And also I'm just getting the most beautiful, um, movement and kind of courageous, you know, really just incredible um, insights and just empowerment happening in, in, in them. And it's really amazing to see. So that's where I am today, people. 
Love you all. Have a great day. Um, I'll see you soon.